My name is Petrus Ekblad and I work as a robotic mover specialist at Husqvarna. Robotic lawnmower are increasingly replacing conventional lawnmowers. At Husqvarna we've been producing robotic lawnmowers since 1995. So we have 20 years experience we would like to share in this film. Here we will cover the basic moving grass with the regular mover versus robotic mover. The difference between robotic movers, how to test and compare robotic movers. Even though robotic movers have been on the market for some time, we realize that this is news to many. Both robotic movers and traditional movers cut grass, but the concepts are quite different. With a regular mower, you cut the grass when you think it is too high. This means that you will have days with high grass. A robotic mower maintains the lawn by cutting a little all the time. This means that you always have a carpet-like lawn. Cuttings become so small that they also become fertilizers. And you don't need to rake the clippings. A walk-behind mower requires a weekly effort. A normal size lawn takes about 40 hours a year. Robotic mower requires time for the installation, especially of the boundary wire. On the other hand, this is a one-time effort. And then the robot moves by itself and charges automatically in the charging station. Ideally, you set it out in spring and without any intervention from you, it takes care of your lawn until fall hits and you put it away in storage. As the robotic mover requires no effort, the time it takes to cut the lawn has very little relevance. A conventional mover leaves stripes in the lawn, and the majority of robotic movers cut in a free movement pattern. The result is a carpet-like lawn. A robotic mower is close to silent versus a petrol-powered mower and they have to be as they work much more often. So, let's take a closer look at robotic mowers. There are two schools. One is Low energy pivoting blade. The other one is a fixed blade. The two of these have four major differences. The first is the cut. By using traditional mowing with a traditional dull blade, the grass will be torn off with damaged grass as a result. Razor sharp blades gives a perfect clean cut of the grass straw which is more helpful for the grass. Small differences in noise level make a big difference in perceived disturbance. By using a razor sharp blade, grass can be moved with a low cutting speed. This creates much less noise compared with a solid rotating blade. Both in measured decibel values and in less perceived noise. Robotic lawnmowers are lawnmowers and should be handled with care. But if something comes in its way, what would then actually happen? Low weight and pivoting blades contains very low energy. This energy is sufficient to cut grass, but should they hit harder objects, they will fall away and cause less damage than a conventional heavy blade. If a traditional heavy blade hits an obstacle, everyone can imagine what will happen. All robotic lawnmowers consume very little electricity. Still, with a heavier product and higher RPM, more energy will be consumed.
you have to consider these four basics to make a relevant test. That the size of lawn correspond to the tested mower. That you create a realistic lawn within manual specification. That your test duration is long enough to really try the mower. That you test in all weather conditions. We recommend to create a lawn that makes the mower operate on its maximum specified area stated by the manufacturer. A lawn can be a perfect square with an even surface. Normally it isn't. So when you create your test area, you should consider a lawn like this. Create islands with the bundle wire. This symbolizes flower beds, etc. Partly rough terrain. Collision obstacles, as you also find in the garden, such as a trampoline or a tree, should also be a part of the test. Narrow passage, a 2 meter wide and a 6 meter long, is a common setup between front and back of a house. Narrow corners, smaller than 90 degrees. A hard to reach remote area. All those types of obstacles are normal and should not be a problem for a robotic lawnmower. If you, by different reasons, daily need to restart your mower, it will not be the help you expect. Many gardens have slopes like this one. We recommend to test inclinations of at least 25%. As the robotic mower cuts little by little to maintain the lawn, it will take approximately two to four weeks for the robot to calibrate. Therefore, cutting results should be first evaluated after one month. Ideally, the test should be carried out over two seasons, but at least one month test duration is necessary to see long-term effects. By testing for a period of at least four weeks, it is possible to detect unwanted, repetitive behavior of the mower that causes wear and tracks on the lawn. When grass gets plenty of water, it starts to grow fast. Because it can be rainy weather for weeks, it is obvious a robotic lawnmower needs to be able to operate also in rain. In a long-term test period of one month, all weather conditions normally will be covered. Basically, let the mower operate the maximum specified area in different weather conditions during a minimum period of one month, supervise and evaluate. Finally, robotic lawnmower is a great invention. 20 years of experience have created a product that can handle much more complex lawn than most end users believe.